I hope I all have your attention today because I've come here to talk to you in solidarity with all the other rallies that are going on across the country for a National Day of Action on Education. And I want to talk about education because the system is broken. So first of all, I want to talk to you about what does it mean to be free? And the first part about freedom that a lot of people like to talk about in the media is that people can't do what you don't like to get done to you. You can stop them from treating you how you don't want to be treated. You treat others like you would want to be treated. And that's the first part about freedom. But the second part that I think people don't often understand is that it's about the ability to express yourself. The ability to actually have access to representing to how you feel. And ability to make sure that you can participate as an equal citizen in society. And part of that equal participation requires that you have the capacity to participate as a citizen itself. And part of that capacity is that you're educated. So I want to come to ask you today, why is it in this country that to be educated, you have to A, be rich, and secondly, you have to actually have people on the inside. You have to have connections. You have to be well known. Why is it that we have a system that the amount of funding your school gets depends on where you live? That doesn't make sense. Because the fact is, if you're poor, you live in a poor part of a town, then your school is going to be poor, and your children will not be educated. And if they're not educated, they can't have the capacity to be good citizens. They don't have access to the freedom that they should be entitled to. And personally, I want to tell you that for grade, grade 12, I think the system is broken because in this country, you see that since the beginning of the recession and since the beginning of neoliberalism in the 1980s, there have been cuts to teachers. There have been fights against unions, the unions that represent the teachers. And secondly, we've been privatizing schools. We've been running the school systems more like a business increasingly than like a social function. It's about people. It's not about making a profit. And the thing is that when you run schools in a way that makes them for profit and not for raising children to be good citizens, you get a result like this, where you have anger and discontent, where you have a giant inequality in wealth distribution in this country. The United States, out of all the Western nations, has the most unequal distribution of wealth. Whoa. And part of it, that's right, Jacob, and part of it is because your school system's broken. I mean, you can't get a fair shot to education because you're poor. What the hell do you do? I mean, the fact is, if they're cutting teachers, if they're only giving it resources to the best people, if they're only letting the rich propagate the rich, then the 99% are being cut out from education. Everyone is being cut out. And as the austerity measures go on, you're going to see it's just getting worse and worse. For example, the cost of California in the last year, 15%. I mean, 15% cuts, and that's on top of last year's cut of approximately 12%. I mean, this is a nationwide phenomenon. Overall, the public education budget is increasingly being slashed all across the board. I mean, it's being cut for people like all of us who are students at a university or at a college, for students from grade K to 12, for everybody. And these cuts affect the quality of education for you, for your children. I mean, for all the people you know and you love. And the reason they're being cut is because they're no longer profitable. And somewhere along the line, the ways that the system is fucked up is forcing us to pay off for their mistakes. And I think that's unfair. Because, for example, as a student here, my tuition is approximately seven times higher than it was when I was in Canada. So, for example, where I had had to pay $5,000 a year to be a student there, which is still, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but I can at least afford that. I can afford it. But here in the United States, it's like just to get an education, I have to try and break my back. I have to work multiple jobs. I mean, I have to take out giant loans. What the hell's up with that? These loans aren't repayable. I mean, I've met students here who have $100,000 of student debt. I mean, how the hell do you repay that? You can't. I mean, it takes years. And I know what some people might say to me. They say, Keegan, it's a system that's inherently justified because it's an investment. And when you make this investment, it's okay because you're going to repay whoever gives you the loan in the future because it's all about a rate of return. It's about making money. And I tell you again, it's 
not about making money. It's about raising people. It's about making them able to have a capacity to be free and be equal citizens of a country. You have a system where the inequality of education and of wealth causes disparity in the ability to participate in democracy. So why is it that you have a system where on the one hand, your value as a human being is determined by how much money you have, and on the other hand, we're all supposed to be equal. It's an illusion. We're not equal. And I'm saying here today that one of the key issues is that if we keep cutting education, there's no way that we're actually going to become equal in any respect. Because having access to the ability to be equal itself is one of the most important parts about it. And it just keeps getting worse and worse, guys. That's what I want to impel about you. So I have that sign there that says, don't cut austerity. Sorry, I mean, sorry. Cut austerity. <laughs> don't cut education. And the thing is that, like, it's because, it's because, yeah, it's because we need to stop the cuts to education. We need to stop the cuts to teachers. We need to stop the cuts for the things our children need. We need to make it so that the system makes it that the amount of money and the amount of service you get for your children is not contracted away to private schools. And it's not based on how much money you have because that's just going to perpetuate a cycle. Perpetuate a cycle of inequality. So, just to go a bit more on my own personal experience, I feel like unless we make some major changes that people are going to keep falling into this trap. Almost like a poverty trap. Because it's like just to get an education and to actually make some money, you have to like burn up an entire fortune. And that's assuming you have enough to even do that. And if you do, you're gonna be burdened with like 100k of fucking debt anyway. So what's the whole point of this shit? I mean seriously, we can do it a better way. And I'm convinced that if around the entire country, people like you and me, and all of us, and everyone in this city, if we all work together in this country, we can make a positive change, we can stop the cuts, we can turn back the cuts of teachers, we can allow education to be socialized even more than it is now, and even more, we can help reduce the debt load on students who are trying to get post-secondary education so that everyone has equal access. We can increase the amount of grants we give as opposed to loans. We can allow poorly funded areas and high-risk areas of cities to have better access to education. We can get rid of the charter schools that are trying to privatize and specialize education by forcing rich people to send their kids to specialized schools that they don't have to pay the general taxes for other people. That's bullshit. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, what I just want to impel upon you today is that education is a right. It's a right that's part of your integral part of being a citizen of this country, of being a human being. So, I think that being a human being is far more important than any amount of money that can be compensated. So when it comes to education, I think it's important that we stress that the way we organize ourselves and the way we organize education be based upon human beings and making better people, not upon trying to make a shitload of money. So that's what I want to say. And I hope all of you will come out and support that and fight in the future. Woo!